Because progress was so slow, I decided to stay behind when the other inmates went to recreation so I could spend more time working on the wall. Keep coming. I pretended I was working on my case. Nobody questioned me normally. They gave me my space. We never had an inmate since I was sheriff. There's never been an inmate since the facility was built that ever got out by digging through the walls. Pretty soon after I started digging, I encountered a problem. There was some thick, heavy gauze wire mesh between the cinder blocks. I already had blisters and sore spots on my hand. And then I discovered that some of the holes that went through the center of the cinder blocks were poured solid with concrete. I filled those areas back in and moved to the next block over. Sometimes the stress was almost unbearable. I was either going to get the death penalty, spend the rest of my life in prison, or escape and live in hiding for the rest of my life. Either way, I knew my life with my kids and my family was over. I'd never have that again. I tried not to be overwhelmed by what I was losing and what I was putting my loved ones through. I always tried to block it out and not think too much about it if possible by trying to stay focused on my plan. I was finally making headway. But this gave me a new problem. My tool was too short. To dig deeper, I'd have to find a way to splice the slats together into a longer tool. I couldn't see anything that would do it in commissary, but I did pick up some other things I thought would come in handy. Then I took a look at the cleaning supplies. I noticed the brooms had steel tie wire wrapped around them where the straw bristles were attached to the wooden handle. I used the tie wire to splice some slats together, lapping over each other an inch or so. Then I bent one end into an L shape for a handle to make it easier on my hands. Now I had a tool that I could use like a drill and the digging went much quicker after that. I realized I'd have to backfill the holes with something to keep from having to fill it entirely with my limited mix of toothpaste. So I made sticks of paper mache using toilet paper, wetting it, shaping it, and letting it dry. I spent a lot of time back in jail, but uh, I never had any reports that there was an issue with John Parsons. In fact, uh, even the clergy was meeting with them, and uh, he was accepting the God and that he wanted to change his life. Finally, a month after I'd started, I dug enough to get the cinder block loose. I pulled it out. I could see a layer of red brick, and I knew that on the other side of that layer, freedom. 